You can make out a Hanigarami's presence in the tank if you see the tiny glittering bubbles concentrating over the plant leaves or water surface. It is one of the small, calm, and traditional fish easily found in the Ganga River Basin. The fish keepers prefer to have them in the aquarium since they are hardy with a strong survival rate. Habitats and Dwelling Hani Gurami is a South Asian tropical breed, majorly found in the Gangetic wetlands. The whole area covers the north to the northeastern belt of India, Nepal, and Bangladesh, leading up to Assam, where they exist in the Brahmaputra River. Length It is the smallest trichogaster in its family. The average size of Hanigarami is close to 2.2 inches and can reach up to the maximum length of 2.7 to 3 inches. Looks and Features The Hanigarami is attractive little creature, usually yellowish-orange or honey color, and shines brightly. It has a slender-shaped body structure, broader at the center and thinner towards the corner. Hanigarami vs. Thick-Lipped Garami The thick-lipped Garami has an average length of 3.5 inches, while honey gourami only reaches 2.5 to 3 inches as its max size. Another noticeable difference is that the thick lip presents a barbed look. Honey gourami versus sunset gourami. A significant difference to the honey gourami is the black base that honey, male, has from the mouth to the abdomen. At the same time, sunset, both gender, is completely gold or shows a silvery underside. Food Habits The honey gourami naturally prefers to live in flooded rivers or lakes with thick vegetation and being a natural omnivore fish, it easily finds its food in such areas. Behavior and Temperament Honey gourami is considered a peaceful, harmonious, and introverted fish. They usually avoid interaction with other breeds and their species. Breeding Honey gourami does not show any problems during the reproduction cycle even in a captive environment. Aquarium Care Mating Process Once you are ready with the setup, it is time to introduce the adult fishes in the tank. You should prefer inducing the couples of ratio 1 male to 2 to 3 females is best. Spawning The females start releasing eggs after mating, while the males fertilize them and collect them in the mouth to securely put them inside the bubbles. Hatching The male honey gourami protects the eggs to stay stable by spitting water over the bubble surface. The water coating keeps the eggs intact till they hatch. Frequently asked questions about honey gourami and their answers. How many honey gouramis to keep in a 10-gallon tank? Honey gourami rarely shows interest in schooling but loves to swim in a large area. So, experts suggest keeping only one of it in a 10-gallon tank, and at the most, one pair. Should they be kept alone or in pairs? These fishes are easy to pet in an aquarium and adjust singly or in groups. However, it is observed that they feel uncomfortable if kept all alone, and hence it is advised to put them in pairs of two males with four females. Can honey gourami and cherry shrimp be kept together? Gouramis are omnivores and eat shrimps, but cherry shrimps are capable of escaping these slow-moving fishes. So, you can keep them together, provided there is enough space to hide. 